Okay. I'll try it again. Ready? Ready, set, launch. I got it. Let's Future Kristen, this is the one you want to keep in the video. <laughs> All right. Ready? One, two, three, launch. What? I don't know. Oh. I don't want to go get them anymore. I don't want to. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to show you how to make your own craft roll launcher. And we'll show you what that means. Um, but before we get started, thank you to everyone who has sent in pictures and videos of the projects that they've worked on. We have so much fun seeing them every time, so keep sending them. Use the QR code right on the front of your kit and we'll feature you in an upcoming video. So what's in our kit today? All right. We've got two toilet paper roll tubes, cardboard tubes. We've got a wooden dowel. We've got some washi tape, two rubber bands, and a mini ping pong ball. You're also going to want scissors. Um, a hole punch will come in handy if you have one. And then if you have some extra tape, like duct tape or masking tape, that will work as well. Are you ready? Yes. That's how a chameleon's eyes move around. Did you know that? Back on. And it's a, this is how an <laughs> owl's eyes move. They can't move. That's why they move their head. They oh. can't move their eyeballs. We're cutting off. Now you know. Our first step. What we need to do is take one of the toilet paper rolls and we are going to cut a straight line up one side of it because we're going to make that diameter of the uh, tube here smaller. It's going to be kind of wrapped up inside of itself so that it can kind of um, hold on to or at least not let this ball fall out of the bottom. Okay, so we want it to be a smaller diameter. So let's cut a straight line up. So we're going to take the scissors and I'm just going to cut straight up that tube. And now what we can do is allow this, slide this in and make it a smaller toilet paper roll. We want to make it so that that ball doesn't fall in and just stay like that on top. Okay, so not small enough now. And once we have it that small, we need to tape it. Tape it so that it doesn't spring back open. You want to use duct tape? Yeah, don't use your washi tape for this part. It might not be strong enough. So we're going to use duct tape or masking tape to keep that smaller roll the right size. So our next step is to get the dowel rod through that smaller tube that we just made. We want to put it through close to the end, on um, uh, one of the ends. So what you're going to do is use a hole punch or something to get a hole in the side of the tube where the dowel rod will fit in. Now on one side you might have two layers of the craft roll that's tough to get between. So what we've done is you can see we just cut out a small notch so that it'll be a little easier to poke a hole through there and get our dowel rod to come all the way through the tube. So I'm going to finish that by poking a hole in the other side now. So now my dowel rod goes straight through the smaller craft roll, just like that. Our next step is to allow this plunger to kind of move up and down. We need to, or by itself, we need to secure some rubber bands to the larger, like unused toilet paper roll that we haven't messed with yet. What we'll, go, we'll do is we will put two notches um, that will hold the rubber band onto either side of the, the roll and we'll wrap that in some tape just so it doesn't fall off. So what we mean by notches is just take your scissors and you're just going to cut two short lines the width of the rubber band so that they're just a little flap on the side that our rubber band can kind of hang off of. Just like that. And it'll stay just like that on its own but we'll secure it up with some tape after. All right, so our final step is to just put the two pieces together, sort of assemble our launcher. 
So what you're going to do is the smaller plunger goes inside the larger one, and then those rubber bands that we just attached are going to loop around the dowel and that's pretty much it you're ready to launch so you can go ahead and add the little ping pong ball in there if you want to try something else you can um, do cotton balls as well but we've given you the one little ping pong ball to test it with mm -hmm. so go ahead load it in there pull back on the dowel and don't do that <laughs> Two. I messed up. That. Ooh. One, two, three, launch. That was a good one. All right. Now you can decorate it with some tape and markers. But we didn't give you the markers. How are you taking mine apart? He's going to decorate it. Oh, okay. I'll decorate yours. So use your washi tape to decorate if you'd like. If you have something else you want to decorate it with, go ahead. And again, when you're all done, send us a picture of what it looks like. Mm -hmm.